Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently working on oh hello uh, the Duke of Simeon wants Masawa no no that's not going to be a thing thank you very much as I was saying we are attempting to get our troop production upgraded and I think th the first priority is to get this castle to the same level as these other ones so keep rank two basically oh hello Oh, this is not the Abbasids, unfortunately. I think that the best thing for us to do right now is to save up for our training grounds. Morale of armies, levy reinforcement rate, retinue size, all fantastic. And we're only 30 gold away. That's like a month and a half. So, we're fine. Do we have Ethiopian drilling grounds? No, we don't. It'd be a nice thing to have. Oh, hello. Well, again, it wasn't the Abbasids. It's unfortunate. Because we definitely need something to happen to the Abbasids, or us to just get sufficiently powerful. We may want to consider... invading Elodia. We have a de jure claim on the entire, on the entire kingdom. How many troops does she have available? 2.75k. I feel like that would be relatively simple and straightforward. I do want to get the training grounds building here first. And then I think we do a du jour claim on Elodia. We need gains. That would be nice. So we'll raise all levies. Everybody, let's group up. I say we group up here. In we go. They're grouping up as well. And we'll see where they end up. But this is going to be a very nice thing to take. And then maybe we can offer this guy vassalization once we actually border him. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. The Samaritan heresy has appeared in Simeon, huh? Okay. Well, it's not Jewish anymore, I guess. Oh, we'll collect some roses. And this is probably a good thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. So it looks like they've decided to attack over here. Construct a new church. Mm, that's not going to happen just now. Sorry. We'll group up actually over here. Because we're going to need to attack Bayuda as soon as we can. So we need our primary force here to get over there. Vassal levies have been raised for too long, but that's okay. We'll deal with that in a bit. I just want to crush this force here. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Are they going to lock in? No, they decided not to lock in. They're heading into Elodia. This is fine. We're waiting for them to lock in. This is in planes. They're now locked in. We're going to get everybody over here. They're going to get a defensive bonus, or rather just a river crossing penalty for us. I think that's acceptable. I don't think we need to worry too much about that. And there's our castle town built. That is perfect. We should have no problem with this, especially as we have reinforcements continuing to pour in all the time. There we go. We're already at 52%. I'm going to group all of this up, and we're going to split this force in half. They're retreating to Bayuda. So we're going to go take that back and fight them. They're going to beat us there, but that should be okay. In theory, we have the numbers. They're going to get a defensive bonus and we're going to get a river crossing penalty, but I think we'll still be fine. Yeah, their morale is nowhere near where it needs to be to pull that off. Excellent. Now we can just assault this back like so, and then they are retreating to Darfur, so we will chase them. 
and we should have no trouble whatsoever wrapping this war up quite quickly. Which will be perfect. We can actually assault this, and so we shall. And we actually have a 100% war score. I'll just wait for that battle to finish and offer peace, enforce demands, so we'll vassalize or take everything held by her. So nothing really changes other than she's now our vassal. We'll now put down our vassal levies and our levies, and we'll take our troops, our retinue troops that is, back over here. Excellent. So where do we see prisoners now? Now that it's no longer apparently in the court? Is it an intrigue now? Yeah, it's in here. Okay. So we can't ransom any of these. Honestly, I'm just going to release all of them. This is Hockey C? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to release all of our prisoners. We're merciful. Do you want to become my, my vassal? No? Okay. He doesn't. We can conquer him easily enough. He has 413 troops. We could theoretically do it with just our retinues. Especially if we can get ourselves another shock retinue unit, but we can't quite yet. How long on that training ground? Still a while. Okay. Well, I do want to rest our levies a little bit. Oh, okay, now there's a defensive pact opposing us. I suppose we are threatening. That's okay, I'm not planning on doing anything else for a little bit. But we got ourselves a Lodia over here, so that is perfect. The real question is, what does the Queen of Elodia think of us? She's not a fan. Because we injured her in battle, for one thing. <laughs> Wrong government type, desires the kingdom of Nubia, blah, blah, blah. She's tribal. Okay. Well, is Bayuda de, de jure part of uh, Elodia? It is. So this guy, who does he report to? Duke of Mercuria. I would like to hand that over, but I kind of don't want to make him too angry. Oh, civil war is in China, huh? Okay, good for them. Actually, that's not good for them at all. They're not going to have a fun time. And we'll just put our faith in God, because that is nice and cheap. Excellent. Okay, so I do... Um, no. This isn't, this isn't happening. We've got plenty of heirs, thank you very much. We've got an heir and two backups, so we're fine. Is our wife still pregnant? No, okay. Fair enough. I don't suppose we could get a council law passed. No, we couldn't. What about a realm law? Not so much, okay. Sounds good. So our threat is decaying decently. It'll take 25 months to decay away. So we don't want to attack down over here just yet. Oh, we could build a tower, but uh, I'd rather put the money into the military right now. Okay, we've got a new duke in Taze. The queen of... Afar, or rather, the duchess of Afar is requesting the county of Accordat. No, that's not going to be a thing. However, we could put the new Duke of Taze as our advisor, and we're absolutely going to do that. Excellent. There's no time for the garden right now. Or, to be more precise, there's no money for the garden right now. There's plenty of time for the garden. No concerns on that front. But we are definitely putting our money into the barony of Rama currently. Our prince does need an educational focus, and he became brooding. So stewardship will be fantastic for him, actually. Ooh, and free money. Thank you. I will happily take free money. These training grounds will be finished on 20 January 850, so only a couple more months. I think the next thing that we build here is definitely a militia training ground. 
We have several light infantry bonuses, so light infantry is okay. It's not as good as heavy infantry even with the bonuses, I think. But uh, it'll have to do. Betrothed can marry. Who is this? Ah, these two. Yeah, we're not going to break that betrothal. Excellent. And we, of course, have a de jure ducal claim up over here. If we were to declare this, we would have to declare it on not this guy, but this guy. And that's spooky. So that is definitely not going to be happening. But we have a decent chunk of money right now. This will be done in about two months. And then at that point... We can very easily grab either a barracks or a militia training ground. When these guys attacked us previously, they did have a decent amount of cavalry. Getting the pikemen from barracks may not be the worst thing. And in fact, getting a pike retinue instead of the next one being shock, if we were to have it be, say, a defense retinue, it's slightly more retinue cap usage, but that might be a good thing to do. That brought us up to 2.4k retinue cap, so we can't, uh, we can't do anything with that just yet. But what we can do is we absolutely can get this barracks building. I think having more pikemen would be a good thing. We will get the militia training ground done too, just not quite yet. And I think... Maybe get the Ethiopian building, or the Ethiopian drilling grounds going in these other locations. It takes a very long time to build. That light infantry attack is very tempting. I think we go for it. And now we just try to get our castles maxed out, pretty much. These three castles, we just want them maxed. We're currently making 22 gold, almost 23 per month. We can get improved keeps at this point. However, that only get a, gets us a new level of fortifications. I'm not too interested in that right now. What I want more than anything is definitely Castle Infrastructure 3. That's going to be a very big deal for us. And there's no time for a glorious hedge, ma hedge maze right now. We need about another hundred economic points. It's kind of slow right now, in terms of our tech point growth. Oh, and part of that is, well, this is cultural tech, actually. Part of that is because we haven't been getting much for, from our spy master. Duke Hakim has not been getting very many uh, technology procs. It's only an 8% chance yearly, so that's not a huge surprise. How's our tech spreading out over this way? Oh, we lose prestige. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, we can't get our income upgraded, and that's the only thing I care about on these out-of-capital county castles just now. After we get our capital county castles upgraded, of course, then we can start thinking about getting these capital duchy castles done. And we'll probably end up giving Trinkitat away eventually. But right now, that's not so much going to be a thing. I wouldn't mind having these upgraded to cities instead of baronies. But I'm not sure if we can control that. We'll have to see. But right now, I very much... Oh, this is a Nubian warrior barracks because Masawa is Nubian culture. Okay. Okay. Whereas a Kordat and Axum are Ethiopian. Gotcha. So I guess they changed it so that at some at some point, I don't know when they changed it, because that used to go off of your ruler culture, not your county culture. But that's actually probably better. We could accuse our patriarch of being a witch. The question is, do we have anybody who's better? This guy is equivalent. But no, let's not do it. 
Oh, hello, what is this? We are fat, okay. Well, we could potentially become fat. We would gain a stewardship and a health, but it might help us become less cr less stressed. Alternately, we can have a hard diet. Um, we'll go for the hard diet, I think. There we go. So we did build here our barracks. So I think at this point we get the Ethiopian drilling grounds going here. Like rank one of everything is kind of max priority, except for castle fortifications. We kind of actually don't care about castle fortifications right now. Sure, it's cheap, but it also doesn't do anything. We can get ourselves a court physician, and we should do that. It'll be this guy. Excellent. I really want to get this castle infrastructure tech. But we're almost 100 tech points away still. It's certainly a lot. That's what, like 70 months at this earn? Oh, actually, more than that. It's like 90 months at this earning. Okay, so we're no longer stressed, and our diet is done. Wait. No, we're abandoning our diet. Okay. But we're still no longer stressed. So that's ultimately a good thing. It's just too bad we're an indulgent wastrel. I wonder what our son will become in two years. Okay, there's a new queen in Elodia, or High Chiefess, technically. She is zero. Her mother must have died in childbirth. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. We could lose the trait greedy, and I'm not interested in doing that. So we'll just not spend money. <laughs> Fantastic. Our threat has gone away, so we could maybe consider attacking Tora. We could do a border dispute CB. That would cost a lot of piety and gold. Or we could spend a thousand prestige on it. I don't suppose you would just become our vassal. No. Okay. Well, maybe we'll not worry about this just yet. Hey, you. Don't be monophysite. Get out of here. Excellent. He's no longer monophysite. Perfect. Okay, so we have an Ethiopian drilling grounds being built in those two locations. I would very much like to get another one building over here. 60 light infantry is quite a lot, after all. What is this war? War to revoke Najran. Okay, that's fine. They can do that. Have fun. We could grab a point of construction, which would make all of our buildings that we're building cheaper and faster. But I really want this castle infrastructure point. We are slowly increasing this. We could bring a traveling teacher to our court, but uh, what would we need that for? We already know everything we need, clearly. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> we could go for melee techniques. Heavy infantry, pikemen, and heavy cavalry. Or we could go for cavalry upgrade. I think we go for melee techniques. Excellent. Okay. So that'll help our tech a little bit when we're fighting people. That will be perfect. In fact, very happy about that. We do need to get this Ethiopian drilling grounds building. I should have done that a while ago, in fact. And I mean, we could get the castle fortifications out of the way. But I'd kind of rather not. Well, I don't know. Maybe we should just do it. Just to be completionist. 
I mean, if by some miracle they do end up attacking our castles over here, it would be good to have higher fort levels, right? So, whatever. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We may as well. They are, after all, nice and cheap. We're making almost 24 gold per month now. What are you up to? Ajazian Civil War, War Against Tyranny, Thracian Holy War, a raid, and a raid. Okay, so the Abbasids are kind of occupied right now. Still spooky. Samaritan Heresy, hang on. That's two Samaritan Heresies, right? Is it specifically Jewish, or is it of Israelite type that prevents us from expelling the Jews? Israelite type. Okay. So that doesn't change anything. Gotcha. We can have a new court physician, and so we shall. This guy will do the trick. And hopefully we'll get some of these provinces converted over eventually. Hmm. Our wife is gluttonous as well. We have high diplomacy, so we can use all of our tact to inform her that she has a problem and should stop eating so much. How much do, does she hate us for that? Oh, she's on a diet now. Okay. Fantastic. She took our advice. We could secretly convert to or Orthodox, but uh, I'd rather she be Miaphysite, honestly. We'll wake that guy up. Fantastic. Do we need a favor from this guy? He's our Chancellor. Nah. We'll just get opinion from him. I don't think we actually need a favor. Like, what are we going to do? Pass a law? Realistically, we're going to need more than one favor to do that. Nope. We're not giving you money. I'm never going to get promoted in this society. <laughs> My devotion is currently 500. I need 750. Actually, we could get promoted to here, but we're never going to make it to the end if I keep declining these missions. Bizarre and repulsive evidence of Duke Hakeen of Berberia's sexual preferences. Do we care? He's relatively loyal. We'll keep the information to ourselves. Okay, what else can we build here? We could build rank 2 of castle fortifications. I'd kind of rather not. For the same reasons as before. Which means I'll probably do it. There we go. These drilling grounds will finish up, and then we can build castle fortifications here. It's not a big deal. It is, however, pretty much time to put a cut in here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue... Hmm. She would become our new spy master. We will consider this in the next episode, though. So you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.